Hey, how are you doing, beautiful people? This is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a really cool vintage coach bag that I picked up from the thrift store. I'm gonna be sharing with you how I kinda of revived it a little bit. It did show just a minor bit of wear in certain areas, and I'm gonna share with you the products that I use to kinda of bring it back to life. We're gonna talk about this beautiful bag, and then we are going to see what fits inside. So if that's your type of thing, then I hope you will stick around, like and subscribe, and be sure to share this video with other handbag lovers, especially vintage coach handbag lovers. So let's just jump right into it. I picked up this cute, and I do mean cute, backpack from Goodwill. This bag had a price tag of $35.99, but it was the color of the day, so I got it half off. So it was $17.99 plus tax. I think I ended up paying like $18.65 for it. Let me look at the receipt. Paying $18.56 after tax. So I thought that was a really great deal for a nice vintage coach bag. This is the 9960 day backpack. I found a Google image of a page from a vintage um, coach catalog, I guess it was, that had this bag and it describes this bag as a small, convenient size a backpack with an inside zipper and uh, adjustable straps on the back. This is just such a nice little on the go bag, if you will. I like that it has the top handle and it has the back adjustable straps. You have this nice little turn lock here. Now it did have some minor wear and scuffing on the underside here, but I have since corrected that and polished it up. So I wanna share with you real quick what I did to kind of revive this beauty and breathe a little bit of life back into it. There are two products that I use that are by the brand Kiwi. So I use the Kiwi leather lotion and conditioner and cleaner, and I also use the Kiwi brown uh, polish or dye. And I was out of the brown, so I had to pick up a new bottle of that. I also had to pick up a new bottle of lotion because I use mine all the time. It really comes in handy and it's really great on leather products. So real, real quick, we're gonna take a look at what I use and what I did, and then we'll come back and talk more about this beautiful bag that I picked up. Let's take a close up look at the bag before I do anything to it. It is in really great condition. As you can see, it has minimal wear on it. The back side looks really good. The leather is in great condition. Aside from the scuffing along the piping on the back side, which is probably where it was laid down the most and you know had the most wear. So here I'm going to use some Kiwi leather lotion on a clean cloth and I'm gonna be using circular motions and I'm going to rub this lotion over the entire bag in circular motions. This acts as a conditioner as well as a cleaner and this bag was not dirty at all, as you can see when I show you the towel. We're gonna to go over those scuff marks, and of course it's gonna darken as the lotion absorbs into the leather, and we're just gonna continue doing that, but as you can see, not much dirt, and we're just gonna go over the entire bag, front, back, sides, bottom. It's gonna bring a nice sheen and luster to the bag. We're gonna go over the straps as well, giving it a few swipes down. And this is what it looks like once it has dried. I'm gonna go with a clean cloth now and just buff it. So after you let the lotion set in the bag for about 12 or 15 minutes, you wanna take a clean dry cloth and you just wanna buff it really, really good. This is just gonna bring that luster to the bag once the lotion has absorbed into it. And I'm just doing that quickly. And this is what it looks like along the piping after I've done the condition and cleaning leather lotion. Look at the comparison of the before. You can see where it's taken in that moisture and it's darkened just a little bit. But now we're gonna go in with some dye. So it has rested and set for a while. We're gonna give this a nice shake and we're going to press the dye along the piping area of where we want to hide those scuff marks and you know dye that area. So we're just gonna go along the piping with the dye 
and just rub it and let it set in. It's okay if it runs on the other part of the bag. You can wipe that off, no problem. But we do want to go in any other areas that are light as well. So look at the difference. This is once the dye has soaked in and has set for a little bit. As you can see, it looks really good. So once the dye has dried, you wanna buff it. And as you can see, there's no dye coming on the cloth, which means it's completely dry and we're just buffing it to a nice sheen. And this has made the bag look like new. I absolutely love it. It only took just a few little small things and now it's in great condition. Here is a closer look of the bag once it's done in the natural light. Look at that sheen and that luster. It is so beautiful. I just love Vintage Coach. So it's been revived and I could actually put this on the resale market and probably get at least $120 for it because it's in such great condition. So it was really, really simple uh, to clean this bag up and spruce it up. Now I wanna talk about this bag as it pertains to reselling because I do resell sometimes on Poshmark and I'll leave that link in the description box below. My name on Poshmark is Noble Artisan. I do have a bag up now as a matter of fact, so make sure you jump over there and check it out. But I was looking at these bags on Poshmark and they are going for a nice little penny. I mean, I could really profit a nice little buck if I were to upload it and resell it. So right now, the lowest I saw was $97 for this bag, but all of the other bags are well over $100, some upwards to 200, almost $300, just depending on the seller and the condition of the bag. They come in all colors, black, gray, red, brown, caramel, you name it. And I got the brown one and I saw someone selling a brown one online that wasn't as in good a condition as this one that I scored and they were selling it for, I know, over $200. But this is a really nice bag. I absolutely love it. And it has this turn lock feature, which is very uh, common to a lot of vintage bags. And just real, real quick, one of my friends here on YouTube gifted me this journal, which I do use and write in uh, pretty regularly. And on one of the pages it has, or I guess on several of the pages, it has a little bit of history about Coach. And on this particular page, it says, designer Bonnie Cashin put the first turn lock on Coach bags in 1964, inspired by the toggle securing the roof of her convertible car. So I thought that was interesting to know. And uh, thank you so much, says. I really like my journal. I do use this regularly. We're gonna see if it fits in this bag, by the way. So I do have to change out my bag of the day, which I'm gonna share with you now. We're gonna see what fits in this day bag by Coach, which is the 9960 um, style number. But let's check it out. Let's see what fits in this beauty. So my bag of the day is this vintage Liz Claiborne bag that I picked up brand new from uh, Rubens here in Augusta, Rubens department store. Really, really love this Liz Claiborne. It's bright and yellow and it went with my outfit of the day, which I'll show you on the display screen, but I absolutely love it and I have it uh, pretty much packed. Uh, today I was storing my phone here on the outer part that has the snap closure, but we're going to Go ahead and take everything out of this bag and put it inside of the vintage coach day bag and normally i'm a little bit more organized than what i am but i was rushing when i was leaving today and so i was just throwing stuff in my purse but let's go ahead and first see if this journal can fit in this day backpack so we're going to put that down in there it does fit inside and you would be able to i believe close it let's see here maybe maybe not no we won't be able to close it but it does fit inside of it let's take that out i did not carry that today though but let's see what i do have in here so the first thing i have is this henry bindle wallet which i've been carrying for a long time i'm gonna put that in there and that does fit in there okay then i have <laughs> this is funny I normally have my uh, charging cord wrapped up in a little case, but today I was rushing and I just stuffed it down in there. So we're just gonna put that in there. Then I have my 
Chanel lotion. Thanks, Faith. Then I have my card case. That was also a gift from Suz. Then we have some hand sanitizer. These are just the basic things that I carry pretty much every day with me. And then I have my little coach, little card case with my business cards in there. And I believe that's it. Nope, I have my pen as well. So we're gonna put that in there. And that is it. We're gonna pull the little tie and let that fall over the turn lock and then close it up. So voila, yeah, everything that I carry today does fit in this nice daytime backpack. I absolutely love this bag, guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on real, real quick. Even though it doesn't really go with this outfit, I'll just show you what it looks like on the back and how I would carry it, all right? Here are three ways that you can carry this nice, stylish backpack. You can wear it, of course, as a backpack. I have mine in the last hole. I think there might be five or six holes that you can adjust the strap for whatever you know length you want. Now, if you don't wanna carry it as a backpack, you can always carry it by the top handle as a nice little carry that way, which is nice. Or you can conveniently swing both straps over one shoulder and that's always a nice carry as well. It's just a really smart looking bag and the size is just the right size. All right, guys, that is it for the quick review of this nice thrift find that I got. You know, I love sharing my thrift finds. Once again, this is the Coach 9960 Day Backpack. I believe this bag was introduced in the late uh, 90s, if I'm not mistaken, but it's really, really cute. It was originally priced at $228 from the vintage catalog that I referenced earlier, which I'll show again on the split screen. But yeah, they had it priced originally at $228, which is probably why it's going for what it is on you know the resale market uh, average of, I would say about 180 or so. So it's a really nice bag, especially if it's in good condition. It carries well, it holds a lot. And if you find one of these beauties, you know, for a really good price, when you're thrifting, grab it. Vintage Coach sells very well on the resale market. And once again, this is the day uh, backpack by Coach and the style number is 9960. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to encourage you to get out there and thrift. You never know what you'll find. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. I love you too. And I'll be back real soon with another video. And leave in the comments below if you have any vintage coach bags that you like and do you collect them? What are your thoughts on vintage coach? I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at NobleStrength50 and Facebook at NobleStrength. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to share this video. Love you.